November election less than eight weeks away, Republican U.S. Senate candidate Ted Budd signed on as a co-sponsor of a national abortion ban. Now, the bill isn't likely to make it to a vote, but you can expect to hear plenty about it from his critics. WRL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie is live at the Democratic Party headquarters in Raleigh with what experts are saying this fallout could be. Laura? Gerald, with polls showing that most voters here and nationally support abortion rights, most Republican candidates have been pivoting away from the issue of abortion bans on the campaign trail and, and focusing on inflation instead. Bud's co-sponsorship of this national abortion bill seems like a move in the opposite direction, and at least one political expert says it could hurt him this November. H.R. 8814 would ban abortion nationally after 15 weeks, with very narrowly drawn exceptions for rape or incest if they were reported to law enforcement or for the mother's life. GOP U.S. Senate candidate Ted Budd was one of five North Carolina Republicans to sign on as co-sponsor. Democrats nationally have been sharpening their focus on abortion rights as November gets closer, and election wins in other states seem to show it's working. So it's no surprise that Democrats here seize the opening Bud gave them. Chairwoman Bobby Richardson said it's clear evidence that Bud will prioritize restricting access to abortion. Our reproductive freedom is on the ballot in November. We are in a fight to make sure everyone has the power to control their own bodies, lives, and futures. Strategically, it's a head scratcher. Political science professor Chris Cooper said he was very surprised by the news. Polling consistently shows most North Carolina voters do not support strict abortion bans, so Republicans have been moving away from the issue on the campaign trail. But this runs counter to that strategy, Cooper said, and it could cost Bud some key suburban votes. This Senate race is as tight as any in the country. And so Sherry Beasley and the Democrats are absolutely going to seize on this moment and put this on every text message, phone call, flyer, and billboard they can. The Bud campaign declined to be interviewed for this story. In a statement, Bud spokeswoman Samantha Cotton said the new bill is consistent with his record. We've always been transparent that Ted is pro-life and he has previously supported similar pain-capable legislation. A Bud spokeswoman went on to accuse his Democratic opponent, Sherry Beasley, of being in favor of abortion, quote, one minute before full-term birth. However, Planned Parenthood says the law does not allow uh, abortions after a fetus becomes viable, and that's usually around 23 to 24 weeks. North Carolina's current law bans abortion after 20 weeks. Gerald? Laura Leslie, live in Raleigh. Thank you.